car. They've reported their car stolen. We locate the suspect and we get into the high chase and we catch him. And it's all ends like the good movie where the bad guy goes to jail, the victims and everybody else are safe at home. It's the best part of the job. A gentleman called, he got into an argument with his girlfriend. Apparently his girlfriend beat him up. He's refused rescue, but he wants the police to come. And she's still at the apartment and they're supposedly still arguing. We're gonna go over here and see what they're arguing about and what else is going on with her and him. Where is she? She's still here. Is your girlfriend here? Yeah. What happened? Okay, I just come home, back home, before. And inside, I want, I use the bedroom, from the bedroom, I come, I show, I see like, like this. I saw in the sleeping room, she like sleeps with the baby. I said, okay. I come back, you know, to the living room, I smoke cigarette, I sitting on the table, she come back, she walked to the kitchen, from the kitchen, she come back, she cut off the, the light, not the light, no, the, the fan, the fan, yes, she cut off, I says, what you cut off that, you know, she says to me, if you cut on again, I gonna cut off, it. let's get to the point where, okay, you need what's us. going next, she tried to push me. Okay. She tried to hit me. See this here? Uh -huh. That's from her. I think here too. Okay. She pushed me right there, here. Too. I says, just go ahead. Okay. Do what you wanna do. Okay. You Calm know? down. Calm down. Listen. I, I listen go to me. Out. Let me ask you a couple okay. questions, okay? Okay. Okay. Is she your wife? Are you married to her? Uh, no. Girlfriend. We Just have girlfriend? A, yeah, we you, have a you have baby. A, the, the, you have a mutual child? The child belongs to both of you? Yeah. Okay. See, still, I be not going to check the bloods. I says, that's my baby. Okay. Okay, I take care of her. How long have I you guys been living here together? About three years. Why don't you just wait down here and we're gonna go talk to her, okay? Mm hmm Did you ask me if she had any weapons because of no, the last statement? Me. Sir, does she have any weapons? No. Okay. She is by herself and the baby in there. Oh, you gotta use that. She's probably running out the back door. No, she's coming to the door. Hey. Hello. Hey. Come in. Yeah. Oh, American flag. How are you tonight? So, so, so. What's going on? You and your boyfriend. And he's too much drinking. Before, maybe 20, 30 days, I don't know. We have a black people fight, too much fight, I have a pictures. He coming, I have a soup and everything. Last night, too much drunk, drunk, too much talk to me. And coming, maybe, I don't know where this is going. I'm not talking to him. Where is he going? And maybe bar, I don't know. He coming, sit down and music and that's his name, Sammy. And Sammy, oh, please touch me. I'm look at, excuse me, I have a baby for you. I have a this. Out. What? Out. So you just grabbed it and tried I to put him out? I push it. Close door. There's beer. Everything key. Does he live here? No. Yeah. This is his home? It's my apartment. And you're his girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. It's my boyfriend. And that's his baby? And, and your baby? And baby, yeah. Okay. I understand. Ma'am, unfortunately tonight, you're under arrest. Okay? Can you just turn around and place your hands behind your back for me? Okay? Okay. Do you understand? Right now you're under arrest because you've put your hands on your boyfriend. No, he lied. You told us you oh, put your me, hands okay. on. Do you want him to watch the baby or do you want your mom to watch the baby? You have the choice. He lied, lied, lied. I don't know why I lied. I'm not like it. He bust them people. <laughs> Ma'am, right now your sister's going to jail, okay? She's going to jail. Um, she wants you to take care of the baby for the evening. 
Yeah, she wants me to take care of the baby. Okay. She just told me where the food for the baby and everything is. Yeah. She needs to show her where the food is to take for the baby. That's fine. Can you grab a pair of shoes for her? They're outside. Okay. We just need the baby I'll, food. I'll, I'll find it. I have the shoes right here. I'll just take okay. the baby first to my mom, then I'll come back. Can I just Are you going to be okay with him? Because he'll be here. Yeah, I'm okay with him. No okay. Him. Okay. okay. I'm going to explain to him what's going on. Okay, sir. Right now, your girlfriend's going to jail, okay, for the fight that y'all had earlier. Can I go to jail? We can't put you in jail instead of her because that's the way you want it. You've called the police here, so we have to do what the law says. Yeah, She's, I called the police. We can't put you in jail just because you want to go to jail and you don't want her to go, okay? What I can do is, is you're the sister is going to take the baby over to her mom's and then come back and get baby food for yes. the baby, okay? Yes. When she, she should get out of jail sometime tomorrow, maybe the next day, okay? And then you guys are going to have to take it from there. Okay. But tonight, she's going to go to jail. Once we gathered all the information, we decided to, that she was the aggressor in the situation. We had to put her in jail because she had put her hands around his neck and tried to shove him out, even though in the past he might have been the start of the problems and the argument. Tonight, she did the violence. This job tends to be ever-changing. Every day you come to work, you never know what's going to happen. This job is one of the funnest things I've ever done. And we play cops and robbers growing up as kids. And some of us are fortunate enough to do cops and robbers as adults. Couldn't ask for a better job. Well, I just saw a car drive up into the canyon, into the hills here, and uh, this is off-road. It's an off-road trail, and no one's supposed to be up here, so I'm going to try and catch up to it and uh, find out what it's doing. <laughs> These roads are are off off-road, off-limits to most of the patrol people. But to the criminal element, they think they can use these roads to get away from us by coming up here and joyriding their stolen cars or doing their dope or just hiding out from us. Three Edward 10. We have a Rubido unit 10-8. I need some assistance on a vehicle that just left. Heading over the hills towards 20th and Sierra. Yeah, firm. It was coming off the canyon and uh, saw me turn around and is making its way over to the other side now. It's going to be a blue Chevy truck. Blue Chevy truck. 23955. Yeah, for a moment, the frontage road had stopped in front of me. Let me see your hands. Stay there, all right? Put your hands up. Open the door. Let me see your hands. Come on I thought out. you were four by. Come on out. I'm serious. Come on out. Wait, let me put on my feet. No, leave your boots off. Dude, don't do this, all right? All right, all right. You on probation? No, I'm not. Parole? No, I'm not. Why'd you turn around? Because I couldn't get back out that way. Yeah, you could. You I saw my car. Come on out. No, I didn't. I saw you. Got anything on you? No, I don't. Spread your legs. Spread your legs. This is your car? Yeah, this is my car. You nervous? Yeah. You on probation? No. Parole? No. Ever been arrested before? Yeah. For what? Manslaughter. 10, I copy. I'm code 4. I have the car stopped on the uh, Edison frontage road. What is that noise? It's my dinosaur, my daughter's dinosaur. I had a pipe. Yeah, you did. Where's your dope at? That's all I have. You're high right now. I can smell your breath. Sit down. Have a seat right here. Sit down. Right there. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Anything illegal in your car? Oh, it's inside that pipe. 
All right. Well, we did a vehicle stop down at the end of the at the end of the dirt road here. And while I'm on that vehicle stop, this car pulls out, sees my lights, turns around, and starts to go the other way, knowing that several cars are stolen and joyridden in this in this hilly area. We uh, made our way and caught this guy, pulled him out of the car, and he's sitting on a glass pipe, which is indicative of <laughs> smoking narcotics. I'm looking for the contents of the pipe, if they're in a, a baggy form or uh, something else. It seems like I've come across a little more than I anticipated. This guy has woman's underwear and all kinds of icky stuff. What's the matter, man? You okay? What are you scared of? Why? I don't want to be there. What's, what's in your car that would make you go back to jail? That bike. And what else? That's it. Why do you have the underwear? I, it's from all the girlfriends that I've had. And, really? And then I'm, I'm gay. Okay. Well, just don't, don't, don't cry over that. Be proud of that. What's up, man? What are you doing out here? Hey, you know what? His ID's right here on the, on the, the bed. Could you run him for me, please? Look at me get your pants unzipped, man. You been busy? Something like that. Something like that? Here we go. It's just a little bag of speed. But that's what he was doing up here. This goes with that. And that's why he's upset. And that's why he doesn't want to go back to jail. Marco. Yeah. You got anything to say? Are you pulling my leg with what you told me earlier? Is that the truth? That's the truth. Okay. All right. Um, you know this stuff's bad for you. I know that, bad. How long you been using? No. <laughs> Almost a year. Just one year? And you're from Fontana. You're up in these hills. You saw my lights. Yeah? You got scared, turned around and ran away. All right. Well, you're under arrest. And you go to jail in Riverside, okay? You want to talk to me about this? Yes? What is this? Meth. Meth? Did you break the pipe on purpose or an accident? On accident. I bet you were pretty upset when you broke it, huh? No. no? How long ago did you use? Like maybe two hours ago. Just two hours ago? Didn't think you'd get caught when you used it, did you? Most people don't. I knew I you did? I knew I would get caught. Why don't you stay home? I've been fighting with my wife. Oh, uh, does she know you use speed? Yeah. Is that why you're fighting with her? Yeah. Oh. What's the status of my man here? Um, he's not wanted, but he is DL is suspended. Okay. FTA. They didn't know okay. why. Out of San Bernardino. All right. Um, would you give me a hand in taking him down to the street? Absolutely. And we're going to book him in for the narcotics. Right on. The uh, woman's panties, he says he's of an alternative lifestyle, and you know, that's his preference. But the, uh, the paraphernalia is indicative of narcotics users. Marco, do you next time you decide to do dope, you'll think twice, won't you? Yeah. Well, hopefully you learned your lesson. Have you? Yeah. I hope so. I hope so, man. While you're inside, you need to get some counseling and try and get into a, a drug rehab program. Clear yourself of this problem, right? In his house, because his uh, wife won't let him in. He says she's drinking, and uh, he just wants to come home from work and go to bed. So I guess they're having some problems. So we're going to go make contact with him and then go to their residence. What's going on? My wife came in last night, drunk, out of her mind. What's your wife's name? Maureen, or Maureen. That's my first wife. That's a big mistake. <laughs> Janet, well, I'm tired. I just want to go home and sleep. I know, I know. Janet, been, it's five o'clock. Yeah, I've been waiting since five. Janet, and she came in three times today. Okay. She's drinking, and I fear for my life. I, I'm just afraid. What do we need to do today? I want her out, so I... I I don't want to have her arrested. I, I feel bad, but she kicked the door in, ruined the whole door, uh -huh. and everything else. Well, right. I can't make her leave. You guys are separated or divorced? No, we're not separated. I just, this just happened two days ago. Okay. 
and I want to go home, but I want you to go with me. Absolutely. Do you have a vehicle? No, sir. How are we going to get you there? Rick is going to take me home. We'll follow you. All right. Let's we'll see us. if we calm her down for a while and I don't know. get some sleep. Well, that's where she cut me with a knife. That's a month ago. We'll go check it out. Thank we'll you. follow you there. Thank you so much. No problem. Appreciate it. All right. Apparently this guy is frightened to go home because his wife gets pretty violent. I don't know what kind of mood she's in today, but sounds very upset. Let's see what this lady has to say. Here, let me just go in. Staying out of sight would be good. Yeah, could you go over there and hide for me? It's the sheriff department. Hi there. Can I come in and talk to you? Yes, you can. All right. What's going on? My husband took everything we had out of the bank, my rent, my utilities, every payment that I made bounced. Well, his name's on the account, so it's... Yes, it was on the okay. account. So it... it was on the account, All I right. admit. That's that. a civil dispute, dispute between you guys. It's not illegal. That's true. Okay. How much did you have to drink tonight? Well, I've had a few, but okay. I'm home. What happened like a month ago between you and him? How do you get the marks on his arms? Same way I got the mark on my nose, the bruises on my back. I'm just, I'm just asking you. How do you get the marks on his arms? I don't know this. I don't know what, how. I'm asking you. We have had many problems. He has been in jail for abuse. Okay. What are we going to do tonight? How are we going to resolve this? I am So home. I don't need to be coming back out here. I'm home. I don't want him here. Oh, he told me he had a place to okay. go tonight. He just called. Listen, I got called here because he doesn't have a place to go tonight. You have a place to go, so let's resolve it now. Call your daughter, and you guys separate for the evening and work out things tomorrow. Okay? Ma'am? Okay. I'll do that, Barry. Grab your phone. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. Well, i tell you what. I'll call the landlord, and you can pay the rent that you let the check bounce on, okay? It's my money, Dan. Sir, I'm going to tell you one more time, right. and that's going to be about can it. can you come over here and get me? I've got cops all around me, um, and Barry's here, and they're going to let him stay. Can you come and get your mother right now? I'll get my clothes ready. <laughs> Thank you. This is ridiculous. Well, it's, a, it's absolutely, totally ridiculous. We're resolving it for the evening, okay? Yes. You guys need to start going through what you need to do to take care of your situation, your relationship. Because it's not... The relationship's over because he's a con artist. Okay. He has conned everyone that I know. He's conned my family. He just called my sister and asked her to borrow money after he took everything we had out of our savings and, and checkings, I mean... You are bad, Malo. Can I get some clothes? Go ahead and do that. I'm going to follow you around, okay? All right. Okay. Sorry. Why do you have a thing about knives? Well, I put it there there's because a, I was worried. There's a knife and sword. Is that sword yours? Well, that's just... Is this your bed stand? Yes. Okay. That's a crack knife, I'm sorry. No. It's not either. I had it there because I was worried, Barry, Officer, about you. I would like to know why she has to go. He beats my mother. Okay. He has beat her up several oh, times. Oh, oh, oh. He pushed her down with my three-year-old daughter in her arms. He has beat her several Here times. She has been out of work several times because of the way he has beat her. He stole all of her money, every penny she had. I have to pay her rent this month. He just called my aunt in Illinois asking her for money after he stole all of her money. Yeah, why did you do that? Okay, sis. No. It wasn't his money. You don't even work, Barry. Not true. You don't... do not give her any money. I don't you work. You don't give her any money. No. Everything is her money. You're it's liar. hers. You're pregnant. You're, You're pregnant. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. You're Come on. Liar. I'm not a liar, Barry. I went for two years and gave your mother my checks pregnant. for two years. You would not give her a penny. I've right been now. good to your mother, and you know it. Thanks for leaving her without a home. All right. Thanks, Carrie, for helping me. I love Let's you. Let's go. <laughs> this is not right. I hope you know. You know why you're leaving tonight? Because he didn't have a place to go and you do. That's it. You're not being punished. You're not in trouble. I just want you guys to get away from each hey, other. he's got a pocket full of money that he took out of our bank. There's he's a 20 and a bunch of ones. I, I counted it. There's no, there's no... That was enough for a hotel. All right, let's go. $1,800. $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, I didn't find $1,800 on him. I would tell you if I did. Because he spent it. 
Okay. Alright, keep your mouth shut. We're going home. Take her to the courthouse Enjoy tomorrow. Enjoy it tonight! Mom, keep your mouth shut. Hell Thank no. you. Well, Thank you. Good night. Nothing good comes from alcohol. I always say that to people. Name one thing. But, uh, I got a headache now, I can tell you that. Uh, right now we're responding to a accident up the road here. Two people got into a collision where there's actually the paramedics are on scene right now. Uh, we had another caller call in and actually said they were out in the middle of the street arguing and uh, it looked like it was going to escalate to a fight. So we're just arriving over here. The paramedics are already out on the vehicles right now. Are you guys involved? You guys are witnesses? Yeah. Somebody here have an ID on you? Uh, you, you want my ID? Yeah, you are a witness, right? Yeah. Let me get your ID from you real quick if you don't mind. Okay, okay. I see you take one of your IDs so that way you don't leave till I give you back your ID. Okay? It's just easier that way. Yeah, mom, she's got neck and back pain. It looks okay. like she's under the influence of something. She's okay. nice taking any medication, but the way she's acting. Okay. This is the daughter. Who else was in the car? Both of them? I think just the two of them. Just okay. Two. What car were you in? No, it was me, her, and my friend. Okay, what car were you in? I was in my mom's car. Okay, well, I, I don't know what, what, mom, what your mom's car is. Oh, I almost fell. Okay. It's, that, it's the red one. Okay. And what? we had the right away. Okay, well, hold on one second. Don't start barking at me, okay? I'm sorry, I'm well, just Well, relax. I understand that. Well, okay, well, like that. have a seat for me real quick. Ma'am, this is a very important question. Are you on any type of narcotics right now or under the influence of any uh, alcohol? No, no. Okay, have you been sitting here the whole time? I'm going to tell you right now, though, you're going to get transported down to Sunrise Hospital where an officer's actually going to be present there. We need to know if you have any type of narcotics in your system. I don't have any. Okay. Do you use any type of drugs? Oh, my God. Yes. She been standing here the whole time that you guys have been here? Actually, uh, yeah. Yeah. Who is driving that vehicle, your mom or you? My mom. Okay. What kind of narcotics does your mom use? My mom doesn't. You can give her a drug What about test. you? Do you know what this is? No. Stand up, young lady. We're going to have a whole bunch of hard times here in about two seconds. Can you please be careful with my wrist, Okay, please? hold on one second here, okay? Until we find out what exactly is going on with everybody here, you guys are all going to go in handcuffs because you know what? Now there's prescription pills that are sitting down on the ground right where you guys have just been sitting that haven't been there about two seconds ago. So if we want to keep destroying some evidence, we'll just start taking everybody to jail. You guys are going to need to sit down and relax. What is that that you just crushed right there? I'm only going to ask you this one time. So have a seat on the curb like I told you before, and I'm going to test what that is. What is that that you just crushed on the ground? It was a Xanax. What else do you have on you? It was like three Xanax and they're my mom's boyfriend. Who's are they? They're my okay. mom's boyfriend. Stand up. Where are they at? Right here. Those are the only ones? They're in your shoe? No, hold on, let me sit down and I'll get them. You better not destroy them. I'm not, I'm going to show them to you. Right? Okay? And you can even ask my mom. Her boyfriend okay. is prescribed Xanax. Okay? okay, why do you have them in your possession right now? Dropping Xanax, dropping meth. Real quick. How long have you been here? Uh, since I've seen them. Who's the only persons that have been sitting right in this area? Uh, this, I'll tell you like this. Okay. The girl was taking it out of her bra. Who, which one? The one in the pink. Because okay. me and my girl was talking over there. I've right. seen her reaching. Reach it. What'd she pull out? That bag that you had just found. I also seen she was driving. It's a girl, little, it's a young in the pink? White pants. Yeah. yeah. She was, where was the girl in the white pants at? Okay. She's in the past. Okay. Actually, no, she's in the passenger. Okay. Oh, I don't know, but I know they're okay. out there with Okay. The mascara's all over the airbag. I know what you were driving. I don't have any makeup on. You got a little bit of mascara right here. Okay, whatever. I'm not real good on I'm not good on makeup, so. Okay. What did you pull out of your bra? I'm only gonna give you one try, then you're gonna go to jail. Okay, I'm not gonna play these games with you. So what else did you pull out besides the Xanax out of your shoe? 
I only had Xanax in my shoe. What else did you pull out? I did not pull out anything. Okay, so this pipe and everything is not yours. So a witness is sitting over there that saw you pull something out of your bra that I have right here is nothing has nothing to do with it. No. Okay, you're under arrest for possession of controlled substance, okay? Is your mom using any of this? You need to let me know that because if they go down there and she's got narcotics in her system, they cannot properly treat her. Obviously, you guys are probably going to take me to juvie, so yeah. can I please just give my mom a kiss? Hold on one second. What stuff has your daughter been using today? Because she's dumped some methamphetamine out on the ground and also a pipe. And there's also some Xanax that she has. So right now she's already under arrest for possession of controlled substance and also possession of uh, prescription drugs. I'm gonna kick her ass when I get out of here. And then there's also that, that little green baggie right there. What's the little green baggie? I don't know, it looks like it's got some crystal substance in it and if I was a betting man, I'd probably say I'm it's some methamphetamine. I'm gonna their asses when I get out of here. Yeah, well. Did your, did your daughter use any type of narcotics? No, not you sure. She's the only thing I can do right now is actually an angel. Well, you can deal with your daughter after she gets out of juvie, okay? Oh, I'm gonna kick her. Okay, that's that's your right. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, let me make sure the tribe officer doesn't need it need it for anything. Right now, uh, the other officer over there is gonna go ahead and transport uh, our female down to juvenile hall where she's gonna get booked for uh, possession of controlled substance. Uh, and then she's also gonna get booked for all her uh, traffic related offenses. She uh, didn't have a valid, uh, didn't have a driver's license at all. Also, she uh, failed to yield at an intersection to oncoming traffic. So she's gonna get an issue to citation for that also. All right guys, how you doing? The op that we're doing today is a buy bust. You guys are all familiar with the buy bust. You guys have worked with us before. Um, I will be the undercover. I'll be on a bicycle. Charge will be a sale of whatever, okay? Marijuana, cocaine, heroin, X, whatever. For the most part, it's gonna either be a felony possession or a sale charge, okay? These are felonies, all right? I gotta go do my thing and uh, see you guys in a little bit. I alter my appearance quite often. The dirt that I'm fixing to put on me makes it look like I have um, been working all day um, in a labor type job. I'm ready to roll, everyone else is in position. Let's go see if we can't get some bad guys off the street. Alright, there's the UC. He's gonna try this gas station right down the street on Edison here. And he's gonna try and do a dope deal from a couple of guys hanging out in front. Gary! Yeah! What's up, man? It's Brett, dude! The undercover was uh, riding past the gas station, saw a guy he knows. He's putting up an order right now to order uh, probably some crack, and we'll see if the guy will go and get it. How much you want? I got, I got 40. We'll go together, take it time. Yeah, I'm on, man. I'm uh, placed the order. Uh, you ordered something like 40 hours worth of crack cocaine. All right, we're going to follow the UC with the target to another house to get the dope. There they go. He's going to ride up to BC Alley to try and get the crack. Give me the money, man. Bring it back, man. Yeah, I ain't running off with it. There's half. Come back with two. I'll give you the rest. You guys going around back towards the alley. We're going to wait for him to come back out and uh, complete the deal. Thanks, brother. Yeah. Thanks, good. All right. Deal with that one. We're going to pull left, guys. I'm going to try and put him right down on the uh, passenger side. Right there. All right. Go. Let's go. Get on the ground. What? What I did? Get on the ground. Put your hands behind your back. What I did? What I do? You're in the rest. Put your hands behind your what? back. Out there selling dope. What's that no dope? Yeah, you was. That's what we saw you doing. Who's the guy on the bike? I ain't selling no dope. What's your name? Let me get her it. One, two, three. They say I'm no dope. Are you under arrest to sell cocaine? What's that no dope? So if we stop him, we ain't gonna find any dope on him? I don't know. I doubt it. He wanted all the money up front. I uh, wasn't willing to do that. Uh, I explained to him I'd been ripped before, so I gave him half. Uh -huh. I told him to return with the two rocks. Okay. Good job. One down, a few more to go? Yep. Sounds good. Let's go find somebody else, take him off. Yeah, he should be coming up the metal right now. Bro. Where exactly is he, Rob? He's got a black male, no shirt, with blue jeans, short times. Want to check him, white shoes. All right, I got an eyeball. Forty. Too hard, man. I'm not, man. What's up? What's that? That's for my dialysis, bro. Don't pull on it. Dialysis. Yeah, man. I got shot, man, two years ago. 
He's made contact with two guys. They're checking him for a wire. Um, we're making sure that he doesn't get robbed. We want to stay real close. Get on the ground. All right. Get on the ground, dude, before I drop you. Just drop him on the ground. Hey. I just want to get high. I just want to get high. Thanks, bro. All right, it's a go, right, Rob? Yeah, you're all set. You can take them. They're both by the stairwell. Go, go. What about shirt shorts? All right, just relax, just relax. Just relax, put your hand behind your back. All right, just sit, relax. What are you doing out here? I'm standing outside, sir. And you're doing what? Just chilling. Stand Ready? Up, One, two, three. <clears throat> Anything in those? How much money you got? That's about like 70 bucks, bro. Right now you're under arrest for sale of cocaine. I feel you on that, but I'm saying. No, I'm glad you feel me. I'm saying, damn, dude. I'm saying, dude, oh, Mickey, you know relax. me. Gonzalez, you know me. So who's the dude on the bike? I don't know the dude on the bike. He came up here, sir, asking for dope, dude. I don't know. I didn't got. I didn't give him. You want to dispute it? Take it up with the judge. All right. Bro, Zach. Man, call my mama, man. He grabbed the cigarette pack, and when the cigarette pack came out, uh, so did the wire. And so we tugged on the wire and asked, you know, obviously, expletive, expletive, what was that? I said, and he tugged on it, and I said, uh, hey, man, be careful. That's my dialysis. I got kidney problems. Uh -huh. And he was like, oh, right, and he actually apologized. Okay. We're pulling on it. So an apologetic drug dealer. Good. Worked out well. Ready to get person. another? Let's go. What's your name? Brett. Brett? Yes, ma'am. Leonard. Nice Leonard? Name. Just like Skinner. Leonard yeah. Skinner. Yeah. That's a southern band for you. Trying to score some dope. I got it coming now. Awesome. He's a uh, talking with a white female. She said say. she's waiting on dope to be delivered to her here. And the UC is gonna just try and play off that and get forty dollars worth of crack. How much you want? Forty. Forty? I got forty. There's half. You come back with two rocks. She'll make her transaction and then uh, she'll come back and make the delivery to our guy. And we'll see if we can't take both of them off. She's getting out of the truck now. She's putting something in her left front pocket and she's walking back towards the UC now. The truck is pulling off. Rick, you want us to follow that truck, please? Yeah, it's in the turn lane for us. Yeah, Temple, it's getting ready to turn on to Cleveland now, and she's walking back up to the UC right now, making contact. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get in. Now, the small tubes, like, but you only need a little tiny hit. You're a good girl, man. Golly. All right, done. Looks like a good done deal. UC is away from the white female. She's still sitting in the bushes. Go ahead. Right there, right there in the corner. Got something in a hand, in a right hand, right hand, right hand. Keep that right hand. Oh, yeah. Got it. Got Two pieces. Give me some cuffs. I got them both. All right, come on out here. You've been arrested for this in the past? Never. Never? How long have you been smoking? Just like a month. I've just been depressed. And... Where'd you get the dope from? Um, somebody was just walking by. Somebody was just walking by gave you? How much they gave you? Um, like three pieces. No. Open your mouth. I see it. She's not talking right. Spit it out. Spit it on the ground. Is that what it was in when you got it? Yeah. That's pretty nasty. Hey, you got a little more than two pieces. Have a seat. You good with her? Okay. So we got her. We got the guy who supplied her with it. And then the other two, we got the, the other guy who supplied her. And then the other guy you got off of uh, BC's Alley. Good job on your part. Good undercover. Thank you very much. We tore up our whole closet. We weren't able to find a snake. This guy is driving a stolen Honda, and uh, we saw him getting on the freeway. Ran his plate on computer, and even before we turned the lights on, he took off. Okay, we're coming up to Yakima, going about 70. Now we blew the red light and blew the four-way apart. We're still eastbound, coming up to Pacific. We should have a unit with spike strips here.
speeds are about 50, we're coming up to 70 seconds. Westbound 72nd. Westbound 72nd. Now, when I tried to get up to pit him, he tried to ram me. He swerved right across across the bow of the car. Southbound, right through 84. He's uh, turning on to 116. We're south on Spanaway Loop from 116. Anytime in the corners I try and get close enough to pit him, he swings his car over and tries to take off the front of my car. He just rear-ended a car at 138, and we're going to run. Get in the car! One cuff. All right, I got him. Where's the uh, where's the people that got hit? Are you okay, sir? Sir, we've got medical aid coming for you. Okay. This is the uh, stolen Honda we've been chasing for the last couple of minutes. He's got, uh, you can see the stock ignition is tucked in the, under the dashboard, and then he's got another one he had a key to, he just plugged in. So, did a pretty good job on the front end of this, uh, whoever's Honda this was. Search his car yet, or? Not yet. If uh, maybe there's more of a reason he ran from the police other than he was just in a stolen car. Make sure we do, he doesn't have a lab or he doesn't have any guns or anything like that in here. We're closer. There's this broken drug pipe and a lighter. The marks on Kevin's car look like the guy actually ran into the side of his car. I think he probably did. Okay. I think he just, I think, because he took off from here. And I just, I mean, he's on the road. I don't, right. like, if I can run after him in a car, I will. And Kevin just cut him off. Yeah. And he just bunched into Kevin's, Kevin's hood and landed in the grass there. Okay. And yeah, then, he's got some marks on the side of his hood, and, it, like, yeah. bad guy ran into Kevin. I tried to jump person. over his car and couldn't get over it. All right. So, Good enough. All right, boss. Thank you. Here you go. Sir, here's your gauze to hold up there. What else does he need? Right now, that's it. It looks like he has a, a broken tooth and possibly a broken nose. Right. How are you? Yeah, who are you? Derek? Did you know the police were behind you? No, not at first. Not at first? So at what point did you realize the police were back there? Right before I hit that car. Before I hit the car? Did you see the red and blue lights and all that? No, you didn't hear the siren? The stereo was up loud. It wasn't loud? Okay. Is your leg hurt? 
you believe it's Moroccan. Okay. To whom does the car belong? I'm done answering the questions, thank you. Medical aid's on the way for you. We're done answering questions. The victim's going to be transported to St. Clair. Okay. Uh, so I'll do, I'll handle this side over here. I got the toes coming. We'll get the slips done for both of them. So thanks for your help, man. All right, buddy. Transport bad guy to the hospital. He's got a sore leg from when he rear-ended the car that sits right back here at the intersection. The guy that got rear-ended's got a bloody nose, but uh, I think he'll probably be okay. We got a stolen vehicle in front of us. Hey, 41 on our boat. I'm just stolen out of this. Stolen out of this department. Yeah, so he's supposed to be armed. We're trying to get another unit behind me before we blue light him. We're coming up on the MLK now. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Keep your hands on the steering wheel. Drop the coke. Drop the coke. Keep your hands up. The car in the drive, man. Damn, man. Got it. Five two seven in custody. Clear the net. Roll over on your side. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. I ain't done nothing, sir. Roll over. Oh, Kick him up against the car. Man. Right there. Why can't you do some car, sir? Why are you driving a stolen car, man? My ain't want to get me this car. Why are you driving a stolen car? You thought about taking off, didn't you? Huh? No, I ain't done no wrong. Where's your gun at, man? You ain't got no gun, man. You ain't got no gun? How come you didn't stop when I hit the blue lights? Well, you, cause you just hit them. That's I not. hit the blue lights back there on MLK. Why are you just now I stopping? I ain't dead, sir. I can see you. You got any guns or dope in the car? Anything we need to know about? Sir, Lean back. Safety. <laughs> no, I ain't done nothing, sir. What uh, motel is that to? My girlfriend had on. Who's your girlfriend? Turn around. Who's your girlfriend? Do me a favor and kick your shoes off. Whose car is this, man? The woman let me use the car. She still got my ID, sir. What woman is this? I don't know her name. You better start talking or you're fixing to get charged with it. And that's fine with me unless you want to start talking. Put I that in there. The dope house where she let me get the car. Bro. You can take me to the dope house where she lets For you get show. the car. For show, that. For show. Yeah, yeah. Where's that at? On 28. Yes. 28th and Harrison? Yeah, What's yeah. that girl's name? I saw so, so I don't know her name. It's your girlfriend. She ain't my girlfriend. I'm talking about the crackhead that let me use this car. The crackhead that let you use the car. Well, who is it? Because obviously she's the one that stole it, right? Yes, sir. I can take you to her. She got my ID and everything, sir. All right, come on. We'll go back here and talk to me in the car then. Talk to me. Well, you're going to have to talk or you just get charged with it. That's fine with me. I could care less. Have a seat. All right, we'll be back to talk to you in a second. Are you the owner of the car? Yes, I am. Okay, what happened? Well, he was in the back seat with a um, gun and stuff, so I was... Um, what time, when did all this happen? It was probably about 4.35 in the morning. 4.35 o'clock in the morning? Where did Friday it happen? Friday morning. Where did this happen at? At the coastal on Asher, the coastal gas station. The coastal, okay. Uh -huh. And what happened? He was in the back seat and he told me to drive, to take him where he wanted to go. And I was calming him down. I was telling him he could have that little old bucket. You know, I was just trying to let him know the car wasn't that important to me and that he can have it. Right. And so then he tried to give me his gun. He was like, well, I just want you to take me where I got to go and stuff. I'm like, no, you can just have this car take yourself where you want to go. And believe it or not, he gave me his ID and told me he was going to bring it back. He ever put the gun to your head or anything like that? When I got back in the car, he was laid back in the seat. I didn't see him until he jumped up with the gun and told me to drive 
drive him wherever he wanted to go. And I walked. And gave you his home. ID. He gave me his ID. And said I'll bring it back it. or he what? Was like I'll drop it off somewhere around the area um, later on that day. And don't call the police because I'm gonna kill you and your family on the blood. That's what he told me. You want to tell us the, the real reason how you got this car now? So I'm telling you how I got the car, sir. Okay, I wouldn't be asking you questions if I didn't already know, okay? So I'm telling you, I gave the woman some crack cocaine. Look, I'm not stupid. This is my first day on the job. How'd you get it? That's why I'm telling you how I got it, sir. Do you want me to tell you how you got it? Because I already know how you got it. Now, I, I just want to hear it from you. You got a felony warrant out on you from the county. I know what I got on me, man. So why don't you start talking so maybe we can help you out on some of this stuff? I'll tell you, sir. I was on 28th and Harrison. I gave the woman some crack cocaine for her car. And she said, sir... The car is not stolen. I said, well, hold my ID type bring When'd you get back. it then? Um, last night at 12 o'clock. That's a lie. Are you going to tell me what I know, man? Because I'm, I'm telling you what I know. Man, I'll tell you the truth. I've been telling you the truth ever since you stopped me. You're professional, you're, you're professional, aren't you? Well, I gave her my ID, so I told her. Next time, leave your ID. ID at home when you carjack a vehicle, all right? I'm still telling you, smart dude, man. He's saying that he met you at somewhere on Harrison Street. And pulled up to one of his buddies' house. Somebody drove him over there, met you in the street, no, and no, no. gave you some crack cocaine and his driver's license to drive the car. No. And then you reported it stolen. No, no, no. I work every day, and, and um, I don't do stuff like that. Right. I was going to well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm looking at you. I don't. You really uh, don't look like no, you're on I, crack cocaine. No. So, all right. Well, what we're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go down, follow us, follow the police car down to the detective division downtown. You have to go down there and give a statement. You're gonna have to pick this guy out of a photo spread. Okay. This is a uh, photo lineup, and I want you to tell me if there's anybody in here that looks familiar to you, okay? That one. Okay. And who is number two? The one that had the gun. Okay. When did he have a gun? The one who carjacked me. Okay. That, that's him. That's him? Uh -huh. Okay. Positively identified number two. Good job. Good job, Barbara. She picked it out real quick, didn't she? Yeah, she picked number two immediately. As soon as you laid it down on there. Yeah, and I had two pieces of paper here, so she couldn't see through it. So right. Um, she definitely knows who he is. Now, we ran the plate before we pulled it over. The vehicle's stolen. Uh, I'm going to wait for another unit before we uh, try to stop it here. I'm going to light him up here. OK, he's going to stop. We're going to be just east. Driver, put your hands out the window. Okay, reach in and grab the keys. Put them on top of the rig. Okay, exit the vehicle. Turn around. Put your hands in the air. All the way up. Spin 360 degrees for me. Turn around, stop. Walk backwards to the sound of my voice. Keep coming, keep coming, stop. Down on your knees. Cross your ankles. Put your hands on top of your head. Put your hands on top of your head. Sit straight up for me. Okay? Just stay right like that. Don't move. Uh huh. Okay, stand up. What did I do, officer? Well, we'll talk about that here in just a second, okay? Okay. Any sharps can put me, cut me, or stick me. No, I don't think so. Anybody else in there? Please? No, it looks like it was just him. Anybody else in there? Nope. Okay, what's Are your name? Yeah. Josh. Josh. Okay, have a seat, don't touch nothing. You have the right to remain silent, and you say can and will be against you in court law. You have right this time to talk to an attorney, have him present with you, I mean, question. You understand that? Yes. Okay. You understand the rig you're driving stolen? I did not know that, sir. You didn't know that? No. Well, who'd you get it from? A guy named Tony drives a black Bronco. Where's Tony at? I don't know. Okay. Well, it's stolen. You're driving it. So downtown you go. Okay? All right. Let's grab a seat in there for me. We know him. He's got picked up by Deputy Eldridge for driving another stolen car a while back. So 
So we'll search it here and see what else he's got. Here's his ID. Okay. He claims he doesn't know it was stolen. Yeah, right. This is the second one. He said he got it from Tony. Sure he did. He knows exactly what to say. Seeing as this is the second time I've gotten him. Keys were on top of the roof. Number answer, 2149. There it is. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if it's stolen, but the key's bent and shaved. Yeah. It's a bent key and shaved down, and they use them to steal rigs like that. So, Let me start a more likely he knew it was stolen because he's got a shaved down key. Yeah, so we'll need a tow. Who's going to transport him? Go. Cool. Uh, what do you got? Josh? Can I put him in somebody else's rig? I'll put him in your rig. All right. You will pick it? My wallet in there? Yeah, we'll get it. Okay, hey Josh. Come here. How can you know that rig's not stolen? I don't know. Where'd you get the key? From Tony. From Tony? It was in the ignition when I got it. How come it's all bent up like that? I have no idea. I didn't do it. Okay. You didn't do it? You're no, driving I it. I borrowed it. Okay, didn't Deputy Eldridge just get you out another stolen rig? I wasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I did, mm -hmm. but I didn't steal the rig. I'm not saying you was, stole it, but you had to know it was stolen. I did not know, honestly. Okay, I mean, you got a shaved down bent key. I didn't do it. Okay. Honestly, I know. Okay, well, you're driving it, so you're I going down for possession of stolen property. Last time I got you for a stolen, right? Why do all these stones keep popping up around I you? I don't know. I just you don't back have a job. The... Yes, I do. Okay. I just got did a you job. Just start it? I just okay. got a job last so week. So you have an income coming in weekly? Yes, I do. How, how much did you pay for that truck? I didn't pay nothing for it. I borrowed the vehicle. So you keep borrowing these stolen vehicles? <laughs> no. Uh, the last one, you Make know what to do. Make me understand, Josh, because this is the, the second time. I borrowed the vehicle because it was my first day off in 10 days. Uh -huh. I just started the job. Okay. I was down at the lake partying. Okay. Campfire, beers, you know, the deal. Okay. Okay. I came. I was coming up here to see if a friend of mine wanted to come down. Okay. Okay. I'm following you. Keep going. I borrowed the vehicle from a dude in a black Bronco named Tony. That's push bumpers on the front. It, it just it just amazes me that how all these stolen vehicles just keep wandering up wandering in your possession like they do. I don't know. I don't, I don't Honestly, know either. I don't know. I'm trying to straighten my act. How many times have you been arrested for stolen vehicles in the past? One. Okay. Then and you I got convicted 16. for? Yeah. Okay. I was 16 years you, old. Are you seeing the pattern here? You, yeah, you I don't believe you, but it's a little hard. I, I understand that, officer. But honestly, I can steal it. I know I got a bad rap sheet, but that. Okay, well, I'm not saying you stole it, but you're, you know you're in possession of it. I'm you in had possession to know something of it. was wrong with that. No, I didn't. Somebody just says, here, oh, here, no, just drive this. A, uh, I was in work release with a guy, and... <laughs> that well, should be your clue. You're in work release with yeah, him. Yeah, but he, he's been on the straight and narrow, honestly. Well, obviously, he's not on the straight and narrow. I guess so. Okay, it's, well, you better give Martin all the info you can give him on Tony. That's okay, if Tony all exists. I know. Tony does exist. Okay, but that's... well, we'll find out if he does. All right? Mm -hmm. Where is he at right now? Northbound approaching 84th Lane 2. I'll wait for you. Um, there's a vehicle up here. I noticed a driver from earlier. He's got a possible felony warrant. We contacted him earlier in the evening and he apparently lied to us about his name. So we're going to conduct a traffic stop on him and see what we can come up with. 363 County Traffic. Parking lot of the B&I on Adam. I didn't. Here's the deal, man. Okay, we talked to you earlier. Yeah. Put your hands on the steering wheel for me. Okay, when my partner ran you, came back as no computer record. Then, it, okay, wait a minute. Let me talk to you first. Through further investigation, after we left you, records got a hold of him saying that you might be under another name. Okay? So, what I want you to do is put the cigarette out, and then we're going to come out and we're going to talk. All right, when you step out of the vehicle, keep your hands where I can see them and move to the back of the vehicle. Okay, okay come on back here. Okay. okay, turn around. Turn around, put your hands on the vehicle. Pretty feet for me. I'm gonna detain you right now. Okay. And then we're gonna find out who you really are. Let me have your other hand. Oh, you got an idea? Come on back here. Actually, you don't? Okay. I didn't lie to you. I gave you my name. You're talking about Darren. Is Darren your brother? That's your brother? Yeah. Okay. What's your first name? David. Okay, I'm still giving you the benefit okay. of that. We're going to pull up booking photos and find out who you are. Okay? He's my twin brother. Your twin brother. Okay. We'll find out. If it's your brother that has the warrant, then we'll deal with it. The person matching the description of the warrant looks just like you with the tattoos. Hey, Joe. Yeah. Why don't you look at that picture on my computer screen? Did you have him tell me I wasn't detained? No, go ahead. 
363 County, one detained. You want to take him back there and just take a quick look? Have a seat in here for a second. Wait a minute, hold tight here. Let's take a look out here. I know, I'm just gonna have him sit down. Sit down. He says his brother. Okay, according to the warrant. Look at the mark. Okay, you're going to jail for felony warrant for obstructing a police officer. I'm Darren. You're Darren. So we're gonna end playing this game now, and you're telling me that this is you. Okay, what's the deal? I mean, I've been fighting, got my kids back. Did you know you had a felony warrant? No, I didn't. Who's that gal in the car with you? I don't know her name. Where Dave, did you? Dave just asked me to give her a ride. Where did you meet her at? At New York, Dave's. Okay. All right, watch your head. So much for having a twin brother. I'm gonna talk to her again. Let's pull her out, put her on your bumper until we figure out who she is. I'm gonna search the vehicle. Go ahead and turn around, put your hands behind your back. I'm just detaining you right now. Is there anything in the car that belongs to you that we should know about? Step back. You're not under arrest, you're just being detained until we figure out who you are. Okay? That's your purse right there, right? That's your cousin's purse? Are you telling me that because there might be something in there that shouldn't be? Like what? Go ahead and turn around. Have a seat. Turn around. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's a... We're going to find it anyway, so... I know. Go ahead. Tell me what's in it. There's a rig in there. Okay. Careful in the purse. Why? It's a rig. What? You get stuck in the needle, maybe. What? What do you have There's on There's a her? rig in there. Okay. Did she tell you that? Yeah. This one might be blank. I'm not really sure. No, it looks like there's a little bit of blood draw in there, so there's some type of material in there. There's probably some more stuff in here. John, I've got an ID on her, too. What did she give you? Let's see that one. I don't know if this is her or not. This looks a little bit different. Is that her? Looks Tracy. Oh, look. Look at that. Two different names. Same picture. Two different dates of birth. Two different names. Two addresses. Let me go talk to her real quick. Wait a minute. Here. Here's a... She's got one, five IDs under the same name. Different driver's licenses and different dates of birth. Each with a different booking number at the Pierce County Jail. So, this is going to keep... Just keep going. Come on out for a second. Hop on out. You want to talk to me about these? Well, it's not a joke because... Wait a minute, stop. Two of these IDs you actually have Washington State IDs for with your photo. I know. So it's not a joke. Okay, what's up with these? Okay, those are pretty good IDs. What's up with the rest of these? Do you have Washington State IDs under all these pictures? Because it sure looks like you do. Why do you have multiple IDs? You trying to hide something? Do you have warrants for what? We'll find out. We'll be here all night. You failed BTC, so you have felony warrants for failing BTC for what? What type of what type of drug? Methamphetamine. Okay, how long have you known you had the warrant for? So, are any of these actually you, minus the photo? No, sir. None of these. Not one of these is you. So you provided false information originally, right? Okay. Okay. Well, if we confirm the warrant, you're going to be going down with your partner. That's going to go into evidence. So you're going to go for the warrant and for obstruction, just like he is. All right? Go ahead and have a seat. Watch your head. Well, she might get a couple years in the penitentiary for this. Because she's failed the drug treatment. I think that was her final straw. Okay. What's going on? Uh, I got a snake in my closet. You got a snake in your closet? Please, she'll take off. Okay. You got, a, you got a snake in your... I got my crap all over the table. He's in that whole closet. It's a baby, it's baby black. It's, it's black and it's got orange and gold bands. Okay. Uh, all right. Do you he's need a towel or something? No. He's no. in there. He's right in here? Yeah, I can turn the whole light on. Okay.
God love you guys. Where's he at? I don't know. I just saw him sliver in there. You saw him sliver in? Yes. Okay. Now he's got to be in here somewhere. He's got to be in here somewhere. Or something? No, I don't think so. It's just a baby. It's a beautiful snake. I don't want his ass in my house. <laughs> well, how did you I notice can't him? Help it, Mom. Where, I'm freaking out. Where did you notice him at? Was, was he just? I mean, was he, was he coming through the hallway? No, he was coming from the kitchen in the in the there. All right. Oh my God. But he couldn't have climbed up the wall already, could he? I don't think he would have climbed up the walls. We sure climbed up the steps. How else could he got in my house? Do you oh, think he, he could have slid under this back door? Could have. Oh, I gotta get some kind of snake of away or lots something. Lots of places he could have came in. He's not in your snake basket. Uh, I got my mom itching now. <laughs> I think where he probably went, there's a couple spots in here. I think he probably might have crawled down in the basement. Yeah, he might be down in the basement. Oh, please, little snake. Oh. I don't think the snake would have, would have, or could have climbed up the the wall there. So I think what he may have done is he may have gone down between the baseboards. A nice wide gap between the baseboard and the back here. You got a hammer? I could pull these baseboards okay. up for you real quick and check. So tell me, what, what were you doing? I was cleaning. I was rock and rolling. I'm getting my act together here. Okay. And also. And I just walked through here and forgot I had to get something out of there. And this year I turned around and he curled right into that closet. I see him. Oh, God love you. I see his tail. Now I see that the snake, I see his tail, he's curled up back behind his piece of baseboard. So I'm going to have to take this other do what you got piece to do. of... All these woods around here, and he's got to pick my cloth to find a home. Come on up, oh God, please. Okay, I don't see him. Believe this tomorrow at work. Oh my god. They're not gonna believe it. Tell you what, let's go downstairs real quick. Might have crawled down in the basement. Yeah, he might be down in the basement. Oh my god, there he is. Where? Right there. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was that wire, that wire, and it freaked me out. Sorry. All right, it's kind of moving. freaking me out. You're getting all freaked out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. So the snake's buried himself. We actually did a pretty good number on the uh, the closet with her permission to try and locate the snake, but so far we haven't been able to find him. Um, I really am kind of kind of afraid to go. Make, do any more damage to her to her house here. I mean, she was awful frightened about the snake. I really would have liked to have got him. Whew. Well, yeah, I'm sorry we weren't able to find your snake, especially after all the, the damage we caused to your, it's not a problem. To your wall there. But I'm calmer now. I'm gonna go take my shower. I got my cat, one cat at the edge of the bed, my dog, and I know I'm calmer now. I'm not afraid. I'll get him. Well, I'm glad as long of that. as he's not poisonous, I'll get him out. God love you. I'll give you a hug. Yeah, you're welcome. You guys do a fantastic job. I appreciate it. Thank you. All righty. Okay. You take care. You too. All right? You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'll be okay. Well, I feel bad for the, for the young lady because we tore up her whole closet and we weren't able to find a snake. Is he, is he's he? out. He's out. He's out. Look in the corner, in the corner, in the okay. corner, in the corner. I don't have my there flashlight. He there he is. Oh my god. Oh my god. You want this uh, wash rag? Isn't he pretty? Isn't he pretty? What is he? Here, put him I'm not exactly toilet sure thing. here. Okay. Oh my God! Oh, I don't want to get careful. Oh, jeez! You want my toilet thing? Oh God! Look at him! He wants to strike. Oop. Oh, be careful, please. Here you go. I got him. I got him. You got him? Okay, I'll yeah. get the door. We were on our way out the door after we uh, no, tore this young lady's closet all to pieces and weren't able to find a snake. And 
he decided to make an appearance as we were leaving. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what kind of snake this is. See, do you think, um, I've never seen one he's like a that. Pretty little snake. Isn't he pretty? He's so just a baby. So what I'm going to oh, do? Oh God, I was too wrong on the colors. I'm going to take too him wrong. outside, out into the, Where the, hell did I get the yard, and that? just let him go. Oh, this is there he goes. Okay, we're en route to a burglar in pro progress. Uh, apparently, uh, as a citizen broke down, his truck was broken down the side of the road, and there's uh, some guys hanging around the truck trying to break into it. So we're going to go see what's going on. Supposed to be a couple of black males taking tires out of a pickup truck. Okay, we're about to move in on this. Uh, Vehicle with the guys. What kind of car are they in? Bulls about to pull out. Look at that. Got the brake lights on now. Try to pay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right here, right here. Right here. One in the black, one in the black. Get on the ground. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Get out the car. Put them back. Get out the car. Put your car in park. All right, sir. Get on the ground. Get your hands behind your back. You got cuffs? Yeah. Damn. Don't move. Roll back towards me. Stand up. You want to stick him in a secure car? Please, sir. Please, sir. Please. Thank you very much. This way. Yeah, let's put you over here. We got them all? Hey, we got them all? I guess. Okay, these are the tires that the individuals attempted to take. Um, as you can see, they loaded them up. We got two in the back, one in the front, and they were gonna, I guess, uh, make a nice little profit off of them. But uh, unfortunately, the police intervened, and we got them. So they won't be robbing anybody else tonight. That's good work. Tell me what was going on back there. Yeah, the dude told me if you use my car, he's gonna pay me to pay me in full to get them rims. He told me he seen the dude when he pulled up. He was like, man, go talk, go talk to him. He said, I'll pay you in full. Okay. I said, man, I just got this car, man. You trying to get my car? So I'm, man, swash when I'm young, man. Money, I just, man, I just got a system in my car. Money rule the world, man. I swear to God, I got a job, a nine to five, and everything, man. Money talk, walk. I swear to God. I don't sell dope or nothing. I smoke weed, sir. Right. I heard a good amount of price. The dude told me to give me five one hundred dollar bills, sir. I'm trying to but take. But still went through with price. that anyway. No, sir. That's, okay. I, he took one of the rims just to make sure I wouldn't steal the car. Where's he? I don't know. I I never seen him. He talked me into doing it. Okay. Right over there. All Bought right. Bought me a six pack and everything. He was like, man, all I need is your car. I ain't got no car. Tell me he's calling the shop. Okay. I knew it had to be. Something Do you know good. this guy? No, I don't know the guy. Five hundred cash. You don't got to know the dude. And right. a six pack. Right. Yeah. Well, you've just gotten yourself involved in a felony. Now we can seize your car. Now it'll belong to the police department. I worked hard for that car. I paid a thousand dollars cash. Well, you know what? <clears throat> Whosoever wheels those were worked hard for those, and you just stole them. So what do you think about that? Man. It's the same difference. We take your car, you take those wheels. Except we're doing it legally, and you're not. Can I, can I call my mama, man? Mama. Right now you're going to go down on a theft charge, 1500 to 20000 which is a felony. You're going to have to go down to jail. You'll see a judge tonight. He'll set your bond, and then you'll be de transferred down to the... Mansfield Jail, we're going to be held down there until you can post your bond. Do you have somebody you can call? Yes, sir. My mom will stay right down the street on 4 day normal block. Okay. Yeah, I was sitting right in front of my house a while ago. I knew something had to be up. Stick your feet in there for me. What we're going to do is put these tires back where they belong and uh, try to get in touch with the uh, registered owner of the vehicle. He probably He's probably not too far away, seeing that uh, it looks like his truck broke down. Pretty sure he'll be probably he'll be thankful that he uh, recovered his property. If we don't find the owner of the tires and the wheels and the pickup truck. We're going to take it down to the auto impound and uh, we'll hold it down there for safekeeping until he comes and claims it. What's the story? What's the story? The story with them tires that we and caught you with. Right. Yeah, it is. You ain't got to sit up in that crazy with me, okay? For real. You gotta act crazy. I ain't finna talk, yeah. man. I heard you saying he talked like a bird. I don't talk, man. I, I didn't say no. that. I heard it, man. You heard it? Yeah, man. Okay.
So that's what you, that's the story you gonna stick with. The story I just that you said, sticking with. I ain't saying. You ain't saying nothing. That's a good thing though. Don't say nothing. Yeah. He the ringleader. His uh, his buddy told him that it was his idea and everything. So it's all going on him. Cause he won't say nothing to us. Thanks. Appreciate it. We had three out of the four tires were in the car, and then the second bad guy rolled this tire about halfway down the block behind this apartment building. He was. The deal that he made with the other guy was that he was going to keep this as insurance until he got all the wheels. So we'll go down here and take a look at that and recover that, get it back to its rightful owner. Here it is. Yeah, it looks like it's all intact, so hope it's any. I guess he was going to possibly throw it over that gate where they have that hole in the wall. I have juveniles in my driveway. Um, they're messing with their vehicles in the driveway, and I have them on video. Oh, and we got them in the vehicle, too. We got the vehicle. You've got one that you're holding there? Yes. Oh, they're, they're leaving. They're attempting to leave. Oh, my God, you got him attached to the vehicle. What? They've got my husband attached to the vehicle. They're taking off. They're heading... Your husband's holding on to the vehicle? Yes. Oh, my God, they just left. Okay, well, we'll get out there as soon as we can. I'll go ahead and let you go. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Right now, we're heading to a call apparently some juveniles vandalized the person reporting's home and the person reporting is now clinging to their vehicle and the vehicle is trying to escape while the person is still stuck to it. We've got a unit that's arriving out with the vehicle right now. I want this regard, I forgot what door she's already gone. How you doing? I'm talking. What's going on, man? I don't know. We were just um, messing around with my girl. The girls were there. We were just toilet paper in his tree. Okay. And then he came out threatening us and then like all this stuff. And he punched me a couple times, so I tried to take off. Okay. And he was hanging on to the gear shift and messing it all up, and he broke it off. Okay. Why would you keep driving if he was hanging on to your vehicle? Well, I was thinking he might just... be able to kill somebody doing that. Yeah, but I didn't want to get hurt or nothing. He was punching me too. He says it's my lips getting fat right now. He says you guys were urinating on his car. Was that happening or no? I wasn't no. urinating on his car. George, okay. Did you do any kind of drugs or anything? I stopped smoking weed just recently. Okay, who's who's might that be? What? A little bottle of weed that's in the car. I have no idea. No, you don't know. Okay. Not yours. No. I had just stopped like last week because I got in trouble for it. So just I went cold turkey last week, huh? Okay. You've been arrested as an adult? No. That's right, so what I want you to do. I want you just to stand there in front of your truck and put your hands in the hood and leave them there for now, okay? Be the one that was flailing from the vehicle there? Yeah. As soon as I came out and they started running, I got the girl by the collar on their sweater. Okay. I, so I grabbed her and I stopped her. Everyone else jumped in and the kids started to take off. I said, no, you're not going anywhere. I put my hand in, I put it in park. I said, wait here until the police come. Okay. I said, you better like, roll the window down. I said, I'm gonna rip this window out. Okay. No, you won't. I said, yes, I will. And I pulled the window. Like, I was going to break it. He's like, okay, dude, okay, dude. And he rolled the window down. And then he's like, you better step back. And he's revving the engine. And he threw it in drive. I said, you ain't going nowhere. He started taking off. So I grabbed onto the car, and I'm going. He's like, dude, see that truck there? You better jump off now. And he swerved the truck. I felt the truck go by in my back. I was like, oh, dude. I said, you better stop now. And I grabbed it. When he came around the corner, and I threw it in park. And the truck's making this noise. And it's come to a stop. He's like, stop, stop, and he's trying to put it back in gear. So I punched him in the face, and I threw it, and I then just ripped the gear shift off, and this is where it ended. Were you in fear of your life or anything at oh, that my, point, or? I wasn't until he said, dude, see that truck? You better get off, and when, I swear, I thought I was gonna be clipped. Was your arm stuck in the window? Yes. Okay. I'm just okay. still scared. <laughs> All right, go ahead and throw your shirt on there, and just hang tight for a second, okay? All right. Okay, ma'am, you wanna kinda show me, uh, terror these kids ran in your house here? When in the camera, I saw um, the the boy come up to the vehicle. He walked up to the front of the vehicle, decided to take the leak at, at the front wheel. Um, the one girl, I don't know which girl, it was in with the ponytail, started toilet papering the, uh, the tree there. Um, when I saw, saw that, that's when I went and, and, and got my husband and said, you know, those kids are here. We thought they were the other set of kids. Where are your cameras at? Um, 
hidden pretty good, aren't they? <laughs> one's right up there in the corner. Okay. One's right there in the corner. I have one at the front door. Okay. And one on that um, the far end of the house. You want to show us that video then? Yeah, come okay. on in. Part of my house. It's a little warm right now. That's okay. It looks like you might have more, but I might get them on this console. My system is right here. Okay. How you doing, bud? Excitement, huh? Weird. I woke you, up and I looked outside. I you, like, you know these jokers? We yeah. don't know yet. He'll, we'll see if he can identify them. This is where um, it's just going to start. You'll see the vehicle come across and then from there. See who they come all for. He goes up the side. See, he's already going. Oh, he decides yeah, to take it that way. On the back tire first. But this is the driver, and you can clearly he's see him urinating right there on the on Right, the vehicle. and you can clearly see her toilet paper yeah, and everything. It's like, <laughs> does that look like Zach? I don't know. But he, does he, he drive a gray Dodge? The back tire. Okay. I'm going to walk us back out there. What we'll do is we'll do a property report and we'll give you a receipt for the tape. Okay. Okay. I don't know what happened to the box to it. Okay. All right, Casey. So nobody else gets wrapped something that's yours. Is the marijuana yours? Okay. Did you urinate on the pickup truck in the driving way? In the driveway? Okay. Did you drive down the street with this guy hanging out your window? Gonna spread your feet apart from me, Casey. Put your hands behind your back. Put your palms together. Okay, Casey, at this time, we're gonna place you under arrest for uh, essentially for urinating on the vehicle, as well as battery with a deadly weapon for running this gentleman into a parked vehicle while he was stuck on your vehicle, and also possession of uh, less than an ounce of marijuana. This is one prank gone horribly, horribly bad. You know what could have happened if that man got ran over or fell and got underneath that truck? Yeah, All this for some toilet paper. Okay, Casey, go and have a seat. Watch your having you sit down. Okay, great. Sir, just a bit of advice. Regardless of what they did. Bad decision to go hanging onto the truck yeah. when the truck's driving down the street, um, especially since you have it on tape. Yeah. And that's the whole reason not yeah. to, to do that. He could have ran you into the oh, parked vehicle. You could have gotten close. killed or seriously injured, and it could have been a lot worse. Best thing to do if that ever comes across again, you got the video evidence of it. If they want to run, get the license plate. Just a little smarter decision in the future, okay? How you doing, ma'am? Did you call 911? Yes, sir. I sure did. Okay. What's going on? This woman in my house, she killed me. I need somebody to take me out. She killed me. I know. Yeah. She's not in the She asked me to stay, and I've been here a friend of hers. And him, uh, and she stabbed me a while ago because we was talking. Because she was raising the devil with me. Okay. She did what? She stabbed you? She stabbed me with a knife. She got it now. She, she got a knife? Let me see that. Let me see that. Thank you. She was raising the devil with you. I had to do something. See, that's a Have you been stabbed right now? woman and I'm nine. Now, I'm old. 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 This woman, she ain't right. Okay. She Does she live with you? Here. She been, I've been, a, welcome her in here. Okay. And then she go get I've been with her three months trying to help her. You know where it's been yeah. for? Been in here running over me. She's going to talk to me. I'm still. I don't know how bad it is. I'm hurt. Come in and hurt me. Okay. Sure ain't. I ain't going to let her come in. She had to stab me for no reason. Okay. I'm a 90 years old. It's 23rd of September, September, which is 9th to 23rd. I will be 91. Ma'am, how much you had to drink this evening? Who, me? Yes, ma'am. I drank a little beer. I ain't had that much. You had, you had a little I'm beer this sure. evening? That's her whiskey, what they got. Okay, how did it start? It started off with her son. I tell them about her son. She ought not tell everybody about it. Okay, and, and that made what, you mad? That's what made her mad. That made her mad, and then her. what made you pick up a knife, though? No, she started on me then. Did she? What did she do to you? 
She ain't done nothing to me. She okay. started on me. A young woman like that, 50 years old, you think I'm going to stand up and let her do something to me? By words. That's that's basically what we're... We, she, she was well, saying certain words to you that made you upset. Is that right? Right, right. Okay. So right. That, that made you feel like you needed to grab a knife and... Do a little bit of it. Well, she do it to me. Okay, so you felt like you needed to defend yourself. I defend myself before she did. Okay, well, that's that's a little harsh to pick up a knife and defend yourself over somebody saying certain words to you. So well, let's did. let's understand. I'm not sure if the alcohol might have produced a little bit of it, but just have a seat right there on the couch, okay? Got a problem. All right. Did you get that knife? Talking about she yeah, got a problem. Okay. She got a um got a problem. She the win problem. Telling you all about tell what me. it started all about about. Let me tell you what it started about. I told her she ought not to tell folks about her son because she his mother. You can't He's tell me about son. my child. I don't know about your child. She's but you're not related. Uh -uh. You're not That's related not in any way. She strutted it all around. Her son's a punk. I told her she was. And I talked to you about it. Okay, hey, we don't need to shout in here, okay? Well, you're already, you're already, be you're already hurt. She's yeah, just right. telling me her side of the story. That's yeah. it, okay? There's All no right. sense in to get loud you're in right here. About that, yeah. All right. You're right. So let's show a little respect, you're okay? My mom. Yes, sir. All right. Here. Here. What it was. Uh, Ninety-one-year-old lady. She uh, has a friend over, and they've been doing a little bit of drinking, and uh, got to talking about her son. Uh, I guess the lady started talking about her son being a punk and. This lady said, you don't need to be talking about your kid like that. And she got mad and she started saying, you know, little argument words going on. She felt threatened by that. So she went and grabbed a big old knife and felt she needed to defend herself. And she came up and stabbed her while she was sitting on the uh, on the couch. Put a nice little gash right there in her arm, puncture hole. Uh, they're going to look at her and treat her. And then uh, we got this 91-year-old lady. I mean, she's, uh, you know, that's pretty much a good battery charge. So... We're going to have to go ahead and do what we got to do and arrest her. Yeah, does she know where she's at right now? Do you explain to her the kind of consequences of what's going on over She's there? coherent. I mean, I, I explained to her that, you know, that there's no need in, you know, using violence towards somebody just over an argument. Um, so, but we haven't told her that, you know, that we're, we're going to have to take her to jail. I mean, she, you know, it's a, it's a violent crime, and, you know, I've, I've explained that part to her, but she doesn't know she's going to jail yet. So, Victim, uh, is she going to be go down, Leo? I think she's, she's going to the hospital. Yeah, she's oh, going to have to go to the hospital. She's going to have oh, yeah. to have a couple stitches yeah. to close it back okay. up. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty good little good. Let's gash. go ahead and get her and, uh, Take her around the deal since you've already talked to him. We'll okay. 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 Have you got a key to your house? Yes, sir. We're going to go ahead and need to lock the door right now because we're fixing to have to go downtown to the detective division and do some paperwork on you. You're going to be under arrest for, for battery. Let's go. Let's go. We'll find, we'll find something to lock it up with, okay? We'll, we'll try to call the housing authority and see if they have a key, a spare key to come lock it up. Okay? All right. Okay. Did you find a key? No. Do we have any kind of contact number for the housing authority? She stabbed one of her friends. Okay, miss, do you understand once more, as I explained to you a minute ago, why you're going to jail, right? Tell me again. <laughs> okay, you're going to jail because you stabbed your friend with that knife, okay? She wasn't and that's, a friend of mine. That, 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 that is a battery charge. That's a violent crime to, towards somebody, okay? Yes, so that's sir. why you're going to jail. And all she right? was your roommate. Exactly. So I we, hope she ain't a my roommate, is she? Well, we're going to have to get her evicted. I wish so. We'll, we'll get her out, but right now that's why we're having to take you to jail. Right. Okay? Be careful sitting in there, because it's going to be a hard seat when you get in, but I'll hold on to you when you're getting in. All right, you're in. Okay, unit, code red, this channel for the 411 Two Johns with them. We'll be 467 on at Walgreens. Copy. Driver, put your hands out of the window. Open it from the outside. Put your hands, hands to the sky. Passenger, put your hands up. I'm walk you back to my car. Get around backwards. Get around. Passenger, get out of the car. Alright, uh, just got anybody rolling code. Over there. On your knees, face the same direction. Hands on your back, palms together, on your knees.
two, John. We're code four. Lift the red. Go ahead, stand up. In front of that car there. Face the car. Okay, how do you know him? How he do you know him? He's out in front of mine's house. Do you know his name? His name's Brian. Um, Speak up, I can't hear you. He's probably given me a ride maybe two times. Okay, is this Brian's car here? I'm assuming so. Okay. Is it obviously not? Well, the car's been reported stolen, so. Oh, Is my this God, your purse here? Me? Is that your purse? Yes, sir, yes. How about that backpack? Does that backpack belong to you? Yes. Okay. Are you my, you the victim here? Yes. That's your vehicle? Yes, sir, it is. What happened? Um, he, we were at a hotel. We came out, and I went to give the key, and he jumped in the driver's seat and took off. How do you know him? Um, I met him at the casino, and he he was telling me he, he knew somebody that would give him $200 for <laughs> pictures, and would I be interested in taking the pictures for uh -huh. him? And I said, yeah. All right, so he took the pictures for him. And then we were leaving, got out of the car like an idiot, left the keys in the car, and... He jumps in, he's gone. He's gone. And then right now, I saw him, and I knew it was my car because of the front driver's tire. And you also recognized him. And I said, the tire, the tire, and the driver's side window is also broken. Okay. And he just followed him, and yay! Well, you got your car back, but... Next time when you meet someone that you oh, don't, I don't want to know, meet anybody anymore. like I said, quick money's not always good money. Exactly. I... You know, fortunately for you, it worked out on your side to where at least you got your vehicle back. Well, this all worked out well. Now, how did you meet her? Casino. Okay. How did all this come about? You met her doing what? Amber. Okay. And then what happened? Went to her room? Okay. And and why did you go to her room? Party. Went to party. Drugs party or drink party or what do you mean party? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Hmm? Maybe a little bit. A little bit of both? Okay. What's the story behind these pictures? You're supposed to be making money off someone that wanted pictures of you? I was supposed to be making money off someone that wanted pictures of me? Someone was supposed to pay you pictures for you? I don't know what she told you about that. I have no idea what she told you about that. Well, I mean, there's well, I mean, nothing to be ashamed of. If someone wants to pay for pictures of you, yeah, I mean... Yeah, like that, you know? What we were doing, we were there because we were partying, okay? That's okay. what we were there for. We, not me. Pictures end up being taken. Is it going to be of her and you or just of you? Um, and does she have the camera now or do you no, have No, the camera got thrown away. I do believe well, maybe... That you might, know of. There might have been... No, it got thrown away. Okay. But if, as far as just me, no, maybe there was something of her. I'm okay. Maybe or there was? There might have been a couple snapshots of her, yeah. Did you snap any or no? Just a couple, yes. But okay, and she snapped a couple of you? Yeah. Okay, face car. You're free to go. Um, hopefully you won't be victimized again under these types of circumstances. Not all money is good money, okay? Not to mention, I'm sure there's gonna be some drugs involved here. I mean, there's gonna be a little more than you going to his room taking pictures. Fortunately for you, you got your car back. Now, hopefully you'll learn from this and go get some help to kick your habit. All righty, all right, good luck to you. We'll see you later. We had uh, Washington State Patrols asked for our help. They're trying to catch up to a Jeep and they've asked us to try and get ahead of them with spike strips. And we're just a couple blocks away, so we're gonna try and get spikes down and see if we can end their chase before it really gets going. They just went through the intersection. The sheriff's in pursuit is just following the vehicle.
take off going westbound on Garfield from Hainsworth. Can you ask that again? No, we are. And uh, he careened a cross spinway loop and into a yard. Still fighting it, got but it. we got him. There we go. You guys want to hobble? Is this all from the accident? No, I stalked me. Took off from me. Come on. Okay. I didn't stalk. Walk this way. I said you took off from me. I didn't say you talk, yeah. stalked me. State patrol stopped this car. I think it was involved in a hit and run, and they took off from state. We uh, we picked up, and when we tried to stop the car, he did stop, and then just took off. And uh, when he came up to this intersection right here, he just careened right through it into these people's fence. You can see he knocked out actually their driveway fence right over here, and he tried to make a U-turn and uh, get back out on the road, and we just we just pinned him in the car and said, "You're not getting back out on the road. We're done for tonight here." So we'll find out what the troopers want him for, and now uh, we'll add vandalism and hit and run to all that. Was he in a hit and run? No, he just took off from me. Okay, but he's got all that damage. I stopped him. What yet? Okay. About seven. He almost hit that construction. Come on. Oh, guys. okay. He almost hit those guys. So I stopped him and went inside the car and he took off. Okay. Well, I'll wake up the people here because you can see he took out a couple feet of the fence and the gate. Okay, we got. Okay, we got aid. Okay, guys. Right, have a seat. Have a seat in there, real quick. Watch your head. Watch your head. So is this damage to the front, is that all from this? From coming through the gate or is that from before? Yeah, no, he didn't hit anything before he came up here and when okay. you got in front of him. Um, it started clear out on sterile 7. Were you guys chasing him or just following him? Well, at first I, was, I lit him up and I pulled him over mm -hmm. and then at that time then I just um, walked up the side of the car. Mm -hmm. I seen his driver's license. He's from for his driver's license. I see it and I said, there's your driver's license. Why don't you give it to me? He said, no. Funk and left. Really? So at first I was lights and sirens and then he started blowing stop signs. So I turned off because, you know, he was um, blowing stop signs and not stopping anywhere. So I turned it off and he slowed down. Um, I was just waiting to get somebody else behind me so we can take care of it. Even with no lights on, as soon as he saw us, he blew that stop sign at 116, okay. and it was on. He's got all the stop signs that he blew back to it. Uh, I'll, or yeah. Backtrack the course and then right. we'll do it. I'll do that while you okay. take him for the BAC. Okay. okay. Well, I, I got no problem with eluding just from from my part of things, because we were behind him for about three blocks with the lights and siren, and then he stopped. And then this made this took off, and then okay. through this guy's yard. So he he knew it was the police. And oh yeah. He just didn't yeah. want to stop for us. Sounds good. I responded to a uh, one subject beating another. It was initially reported as they were on top of the uh, subject, and they're now down, and the suspect's walking away. And we'll find out what happens when we get there.
Hey, stay seated. Come back over here. Police officer, come over here. Cool. Grab a seat. So where's the other half of this? My dad. He's Your dad? Down the street. Where's he at? He's down the street somewhere. Does he live down there or did he walk down there? I don't know. I him up. Okay. Can I get home soon? Yeah, let's see. So what happened with you and your dad? Nah, we started fighting. What are you fighting with your dad? Nah, we tried to rock back, back, uh, back down the back streets. Uh-huh. And I was drunk. So what happened? What started it? Nah, I'm drunk. So is your dad going to be as uh, roughed up as you are? Yeah. A little more? Yeah. Hang tight right there. Um, the suspect, the one that hit him. His is... father? Oh, I don't know. He's on his yeah, it's his father. He's he's almost to shield. He's on walking north. Is he on Fowler? Okay. Is he uh, beat up pretty bad? I don't know. He looks like he's walking pretty straight, so I don't think he's okay. in the middle of the street. So okay. What what did you guys see? I saw the guy that's walking hit him uh -huh. and then climb on top of him, and I saw him hitting him several times and choking him. And choking him? Yeah. Okay. That's what it looked like. I mean, we're down here. We're just okay. right here. So the other one had the best of this one here. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. We have your phone number? Um, my yeah. cell phone number. Okay, you if you can leave it on, we may be calling you back shortly. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to talk to your dad, see who we got here. You, gotta you right want home? your dad arrested? No. No? You guys going to be right home? I'll talk to him tomorrow. Someone will give you a ride home. Oh. Someone right. will give you a ride. Has not been patted down. He's got blood all over him. Okay. What's this guy look like? Oh, it's his father. What we're going to do, we're going to pat him down, take him over to his house, and uh, find his father and see what we got. Okay. See if anyone wants anything done. Stand up for me. I'm going to have you sit in the back of my car, all right? You got my wallet? Yeah, stand up. Woo! <laughs> Relax. Yeah, uh, I guess so, but, like, the east side... I don't want you to fall, man. How many beers have you had? Like, four or five. Okay. Just relax. See if dad's home. No. Is your dad home? Can you, ask, can you ask him to come out and talk to us? They were going at it pretty well. What's your dad's name? Alex. Can I out for a second? Sure. You mind if we come in? Or you want to come out and talk to us? Come in, come out. Doesn't matter. Either way. You don't mind if I do this, do you? Ouch. So what happened? Uh, we were there one minute. Next minute it was like... Damn, hell blew. Three Henry out there? Uh, it was like uh, watching strippers, and before you know it, it was like three Frank, two one to okay, three. Okay, time to go. So what started all this? Walking down the road. Can't drive. We're drinking. You can't drive. And then, booyah. 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 You know, just one of those crazy kind of things. You know what I mean? You want to press charges? Blues? You want to press charges against your son? Oh, come on, Mister. Just uh, I gotta ask that. I know, but I can guess the answer, but I gotta ask that. That's my job. It's because obviously you got pummeled. I mean, you got a laceration up above your left thigh, yeah. across the bridge of your nose. Yeah, it's like one little bam. It's like. Are you headbutt you? Yeah. But it's like one of those. You know what? Are you not paying attention? Why are you not listening? You know when you give the lecture. Mm-hmm. You know, the dad thing. And your son lives here with you, right? Why well, you just get out of the service? So he's staying here? Yeah. Your son's going to go to jail for drunken public. You're going to stay here, and hopefully you guys can patch this up uh, when he gets out of jail and comes back. Do you want him back here? Well, which one do you want, Jay? I mean, do you want him back here? Well, I don't want him arrested. I guess there's no way they got to take him overnight. He's going to go to jail for about six hours, six to, six to eight hours. Do you want to talk to your son right now? I meant nothing. So when he gets out, it's obvious he's not—he's not gonna be able to live here. These guys aren't gonna get along. Well, that's off the top. Come out. It's your brother, right? Yeah. Okay. Does this happen often? Hmm. Well, not on purpose. Probably like once or twice. You know, when they don't—they don't agree on something. But it's gonna happen when they drink. Whenever they drink, they go to blows. Not every time, but. It's happened a couple times before, though. Probably once. Okay. You want to talk to him? Yeah. Okay. What's your uh, first name? Uh, JR. JR? Yeah. And this is Anthony, right? Yeah. Anthony, step out real quick. You want to talk to JR? What? He's here. You want to talk to him? Calm, bro. Uh, yes or no? 
Yeah, my wrists hurt though. Okay, we'll loosen them up right here. You okay? No. Okay, do me a favor. Yeah. Turn face that way. We're gonna loosen them real quick. Be calm. They're gonna be calm. They're gonna be calm. He's 15 minutes. But don't think it's funny. Just, just be calm about it. Learn something about it, okay? What? Well, uh, what it is? Damn. Sober up. All right, Anthony. Oh, Drop it for tonight. You have to talk sober. Drop it for tonight. Sober up. Yeah, in a little bit. Can I have a seat? Oh. Just be quiet, bro. Should, should I sit like this or should I get inside? If you want to, yeah, sit like that. If you want to put your uh, feet up on the seat, just yeah, scoot yeah, your butt all the way in. Man. That's right. You want to talk to your dad? All right. Well, he doesn't want to talk to you, so. Cool. Put your foot in there. Okay, got a vehicle here, no license plate lamp. Uh, made a couple erratic turns as we were uh, behind it. Pull them over here and see what we got. Met six traffic. It could be Baker just north of Arrow on 813. Four, Frank Yellow. How you doing tonight? Hi. The reason I pulled you up, you have no license plate lamp. Are you aware of that? No. I no. just got it back from the mechanic today. What was wrong with it? Um, we just got a new rack and pinion put in it. Rack and pinion set up? Like power steering put everywhere. Okay. Driver's license, registration, and proof of it. my license on. Why not? I just, we left to see a friend, and I left it at home. You left it at home, huh? I can tell you my license number. You know that? Have you been arrested before? Any tickets? Uh, yeah. For what? Possession. Possession? When was that? How long's a while? A months. Months? Months? Months, yeah. Okay, are you on probation? No. No probation yet. No, I have you my ticket and just like You went to court? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a driver's license or any type of ID on you, sir? Yeah. How about there, back there? Anybody else been arrested for anything before? Any tickets? I'm on parole. You're on parole? Yeah. Okay. What are you on parole for? Robbery. Robbery. Out of where? Out of the Ontario. 